So you want to develop great finning techniques. Well, I've put this video together to help show you what stretches and exercises I think you should be doing. Having a good range of flexibility in your ankles and joints is important, but it's probably not the most important. What you do need is a strong core, and this is being able to hold tension in your hips and your stomach muscles which then allows you full range of your legs, foot and fin control. We'll start with some useful stretches first. This one is good for your back and legs and it's quite easy to do. What you'll do, is, this is really good to stretch out those shoulders. Next we'll look at an abdominal stretch. So you go onto your tiptoes, hands shoulder width apart at about chest level and then you want to stick your head neutral position, push your hips towards the floor, lean back a little, pointing your toes. You can then transition from there into the cat stretch. To do this, knees and feet close together, sit your bum back right on top of your feet or as near to it as you can. The next stretch is about ankle mobility and this is really important for scuba divers as generally we're all very stiff in the ankle. What you do here is put the foot on a flat surface. The next is a really good stretch for the hips and leg. And this is called the pigeon pose. It can put quite a bit of pressure on the knee joint. So just be careful when you're doing this. You bring one leg forward. A lot of divers think swimming is enough to get their finning techniques better. The truth is you need to do some exercises to improve as well as putting in the time underwater. One of the best exercises you can do is air squats. This is using the same squatting technique I've already explained. Make sure your knees go out as you go down. This is a great exercise for building up the core muscles. This is holding a hollow, transitioning into a superman hold, then transitioning back again to a hollow, always keeping the core tight as you move. What I quite like is the gymnastic sit up as it really engages the core and force you to keep that stomach really tight. If you have any pre-existing medical conditions, make sure you get them cleared and approved before doing any of the exercises I'm showing here.